Hey what's up everyone this is Wicked Android HD and tonight I have the honor and the pleasure to show you the early build of Resurrection Remix ROM based on Android Marshmallow pay attention Marshmallow 6.0.1 as you may see Marshmallow okay so as I told you it's called Resurrection Remix 5.6.0 6.0 maybe stands for the Android version that is running, uh, and it's developed. It's been developed by um, TJ Steve MX, which is also the developer of uh, Kernel, based on Cyanogen mode. So Kernel based on Cyanogen mode. Um, <clears throat> this is an early build. All a few users have access to it. Um, I will post up this video when uh, it will be available uh, on XDA. But until then let's get into it uh, without further ado I'll talk about how my reviews uh, look like every every single review look of, uh, of mine looks like um, first of all I will talk about the design of this ROM then I'll get into performance and then smoothness and then we'll get to the battery life pay attention at the beginning of this video I had 97 percent battery life so at the end of the video I will show you how much battery life do I have left on my device just to make you guys an idea on uh, just for you guys to make an idea on how fast this uh, the ROM eats up the battery so let's get into the design part resurrection ROM good uh, the lollipop version of uh, this beautiful resurrection uh, history so history of resurrection rom is a very vast and long one it's been in my opinion the best uh, cm rom based rom cm based rom for the galaxy s4 since it uh, firstly appeared on xda because it's been updated for many months and it's been getting uh, better and better by every update so right now we're into an early release and i have to tell you i'm pretty impressed on how stable and how fast it is um so design part was also uh, was always actually not also was uh, also was always a um a plus if we're talking about uh a this kind of rom so it has its own configurations menu in settings Sorry about this blah 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 thing. I'm I'm pretty upset and pretty um, kind of um, you know sad about some some things related to my life. So, yep, we must uh, get past through that. I must get past through that because um, I need to make this review. So, uh, getting back into into this review, let me show you the configurations menu, status bar. So we have clock customization, which you can set it to, to center. So you can set the clock to center. You can uh, show up the date, show up the date like uh, lowercase and small, for example, like this. As you may see, very cool touch. You can change up the color of the of the clock and the date. I'll stick to the white one font oh god there are so many fonts here so if we got into condensed bold this is how it looks like really minimalistic and font size you may increase or decrease or decrease the font size so clock seconds an another great uh, great feature at least for me I use this a lot I like to be on time everything uh, on everything I do um, battery style style icon portrait this is my favorite but you may change it to circle I like uh, I like it to be icon portrait so battery bar again this white bar right there is the battery bar um, so speaking about these kind of uh, little little tweaks uh, regarding uh, <clears throat> customization part makes me uh, 
say that this is the first uh, lolly uh, the first marshmallow ROM that comes with uh, this kind of all these features imported from uh, lollipop which is really great carrier label don't know where it shows but it should be some somewhere um, network traffic resurrection logo which may see it appears right here headset icon show whether <coughs> I'd better hide this brightness control double tap to sleep and so on buttons you can customize uh, every single button regarding this uh, soft keys this hard this, this hard key recent tab panel so show search bar in recent menu this is how the search bar looks like you can disable it either way as you may see memory bar which shows you how much ROM you have left how much free ROM you have on your device clear a button clear location clear all location yep the clear button location that's what that's what it means slim slim recent panel imported from slim slim uh, roms notification drawer so let's get the notifica notification drawer but not uh, from here but from here this is a new optimized and innovative part of uh, marshmallow and of uh, signing mode you can slide from right to left or from left to right in um, these uh, tiles menu which is really great believe me it is great a new feature but this is great so you can customize these by going at the tiles you can press and hold title to edit you can you know move between these objects you can add another more oops system user interface has stopped so, well as i told you this is an early release so bugs may appear so don't uh, don't be upset about this it will be fixed somehow <clears throat> so let's get into the configurations panel again so notification drawer what is this modern time contextual header whoa yep this is a nope this is oh jesus how smooth how great this is so it needs to uh, reactivate the system user interface to reboot in order to oh god this header is so sick guys take a look at this this is so sick right now i'll stick to the motor because so it's all about the the time the time uh <clears throat> so if it's 9 p.m and you know it's getting a little bit dark so actually in romania right now it's it's really dark outside but uh, this is also synchronizing with the, so this is synchronizing with the time. Yep, this is really cool. Task manager. So it's rebooting every single time in this section. So you'll have to be patient. So this is the task manager. You will get into your uh, currently using apps. Force expanded, disable immersive mode messages lock screen quick unlock double tap to sleep media cover art lock screen blur and you can also set up the lock screen wallpaper you can activate uh, gestures you can switch back and forth between system animations app sidebar i know you know everything about it you can set your linux mode to enforcing or to either enforcing or sorry grant or permissive so permissive you may use permissive for for uh, if you want to um, tweak your audio by installing viper for android fx whether you can customize uh, your location disable force close notifications yep this may be useful if you're using uh, this early release 
camera shutter sound system user interface tuner this is the default thing you will get with the, the marshmallow so you will get this in a stock application and you have the resurrection over the air updater which isn't working obviously because it is running um, this is an early release as, as I told you now another feature that I found it really interesting about this ROM was the ability to change the entire user interface theme so if you change it to dark it will look like this and this is the best part of uh, this ROM I think it's I like how lollipop and marshmallow of course looks like and um, feels like but I didn't really appreciate it didn't really appreciate the the whitish accent Google gave to to the user interface so it's better sorry it's better to <coughs> to look like this and also it also it's less battery because AMOLED screens uses less battery when um, when uh, you know when uh, displaying uh, while displaying uh, black black pixels okay what else I think you can also customize the yeah, the LCD density in order to look uh, for the user interface to look smaller on this screen so tablet style for example I installed the micro gaps you'll find on opengaps.com Org. I'll pull link in the description with all the files you'll need, of course, and uh, as I told you, I will um, I release this this video when TG Steve MX will give me the permission to it. So let's call let's dial up a number and see how yes, blazing fast. No lag. Envelope number because it's not being rec recognized by my carrier but I should receive a message from yeah so this is how it looks like when I receive a message and opens up really quick now so design part it I will give it 10 out of 10 because this is what I need this is what it this is what it represents CM the most really customizable really customizable very customizable um, I think I said really customizable twice. Yeah, but I'm really fucked, you know. Yeah, not feeling really great. Sorry, guys, if I if you didn't understand a thing, but um, I'm trying my best to keep focused and keep concentrated on what I'm doing right now. Okay. Um, bugs. The performance you said you saw it already. It is blazing fast. Lags may occur from time to time. It's running a custom kernel. You can customize uh, kernel settings by going to kernel editor. You can switch back and forth between uh, CPU, you know, CPU. What the heck? CPU governors. I think this is because of the dark mode. It needs to be implemented better. Okay, yeah, it was it was that problem. You can switch back and forth between CPU governors and GPU governors, and you can even tweak out the hell of the battery life out of this out of this ROM. Um, <coughs> okay, so battery not battery life, <coughs> performance and smoothness really moves really great, really really blah, 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 blah. yeah clock you can switch back and forth between apps really quick no problems at all so performance I will rate it 9 out of 10 for this smoothness again 9 out of 10 and if, if we're talking about the battery life which for some reason isn't showing up right here but we'll get into into this really, really quick 92% 
from 97% so 5% was consumed in order to make this review I reckon it's great the main uh, and right now I'll talk about the box you'll find on, on this uh, ROM camera bug has been fixed so camera is working flawlessly um, I think it's the notification bar is lagging a little bit um, but w if we're getting in the cellular network cellular network you can't change between uh, back and forth between 2G or 3G it all it will always uh, keep it changed on uh, LTE and yeah it will need I, I heard that this is a CM bug and they need to be to fix it before you know before developers could uh, implement it in their custom ROMs based on CM um, that was kind of it guys you saw my previous uh, marshmallow reviews you saw how application looks like how everything and how impressed how everything works and how impressed I am with this version of Android and I hope it will be developed furthermore by these beautiful developers I have to thank TJ CVFMX for giving me the permission to install this ROM and to test this ROM um, so thank you thank you Steve for that Android version 6.0.1 so it's been already updated to 6.0.1.1 yep point one. how great it is so that was it for today guys i hope you like it if you did please make sure you thumbs up hit this thumbs up button and subscribe right down to my channel this keeps me motivating doing these kind of reviews and uh, well well i hope this rom is gonna be again the best marshmallow rom based on signing in mode for the galaxy s4 because i really need to change uh, something about the device about my device maybe changing from kitkat finally to marshmallow i hope this will make progress and will help me decide how how fast i will try to switch between uh, kitkat to switch from kitkat to marshmallow so thank you for watching guys wicked android is out take care bye bye